In this new episode of the series dedicated to Lancia, we will get to know 10 models, suitable for approaching the world of Lancia and cars of historical interest. There are 10 models, available at reduced prices and affordable to many. Models that, by type and characteristics, can also be used daily. R. 10 Lancia to start. The second series of the Fulvia, was presented in 1969. Compared to the first, the front has changed, with a new grille and double headlights of different diameters, and the rear, with new optical groups, that renew and design from the 1960s. Inside, new, more modern dashboard, different horn ring, gear lever on the f The version we're interested in, is the one produced since 1970. It adopts standard 5-speed gearbox and various aesthetic and setup changes. The mirror is now on the door. The bumpers have a rubberized profile, new identification plates. Internally, same class as real Lancias, with quality materials and small flagship equipment. New two-spoke steering wheel, short gear lever, some new accessories. The refined mechanicals, designed by Fascia, flaunt the ingenious front frame, wit engine, gearbox and suspension. This version has all the evolutions of the Fulvia sedan. A new steering column, two-axle brake booster, and a reliable alternator. It is a pleasant and easy-to-drive car, spacious and comfortable, with adequate performance, for current traffic. If properly maintained, it is very reliable. The engine is the well-known four-cylinder at V, here in its maximum expression on a Fulvia sedan. Two Solex double-barrel carburetors, 87 horsepower, considerable value for a 1.3 in 1970. Four disc brakes with brake booster, tires 155, 14. Good performance. 161 km per hour. 0 to 100 km per hour in 14 seconds. 0 to 1000 meters in 35.5 seconds. Consumption influenced by large carburetors. Produced between 1970 and 1972, in 41,687 specimen. Why buy it? Reliable and can be used often. Comfortable and relaxing to use. To hear the sound of the doors closing, a witness to quality and consistency. Modern performance. Why collect it? For the project of Fescia and the design of Castog Nero. It is one of the last true Lancia. It is uncommon. It is the latest edition of the Fulvia sedan. It is a great start. What to pay attention to? Some delicate interior details. The upper part of the dashboard, which, if exposed to too much sun, breaks. Any nonconformities in the setup. Some specific details that are difficult to find. Correct carburetion. It is the economical version of the small Lancia Capi. But cheap, doesn't mean poor choice. The restyling does not distort its appearance, and the design is pleasant and elegant. The optional alloy wheels, give it the importance of its bigger sisters. Internally, four single seats, same seats, same dashboard, same equipment and quality materials. The small 1300 is still a twin cam of the Lampredi family, and is powerful and cheerful. The road holding and braking are remarkable contributing to the driving fun. The twin camshaft of this version, is equipped with a two-body Weber carburetor, and delivers 84 horsepower. Four disc brakes and low weight. Performance is good. Consumption is quite high for a 1300. It was produced from 1981 to 1984, in only 3140 specimen. Why buy it? Small displacement, but lots of fun. Daily use. Excellent image, performance. Cost ratio. Why collect it? For design. Rarity. Excellent for getting closer to the Lancia world, what to pay attention to. Some parts of the body prone to rust. Some details that are difficult to find. Check the conformity of the setup. In the 1980s, it had a notable success, to which its successful design was no stranger. Definitely. One of the best transformations from two to three volumes, internally, refined design, quality plastics and fabrics, made it a flagship in scale. The mechanicals, have the same engine as the Delta GT and Fiat Ritmo 105 DC, and enhanced brakes. On the road, it is a good compromise between comfort and performance. It is a medium-sized, fairly light three-volume sedan. The engine is a 1.6-liter twin cam and 105 horsepower. Five-speed gearbox and four-wheel disc brakes. Front wheel drive, performance is very good, at the time it was at the top of the segment. Consumption is affected by driving, but with some attention, it also turns out to be economic, 
The first series of the Prisma 1600, was produced from 1982 to mid-1986, in about 42,000 units. Why buy it? Almost sporty performance, and excellent road behavior. Suitable for daily use. Why collect it? It is the spiritual and conceptual heir of the small Lancia class sedan. It is one of the most successful transformations in three volumes. It was the flagship of the middle class in the 1980s. They have sold many, but the survivors are few. What to pay attention to? Some body parts prone to rust. Some specific details that cannot be found. Some mechanical parts delicate if scrambled. It is the more balanced version of the successful mid-1986 restyling. Less aesthetically characterized than the previous GT, it appears elegant and refined. Only the 14 rims, with plastic wheel covers, alloy rims on request only, and the plates on the grille and tail, distinguish it from the 1300. The interior is distinguished by the new dashboard, full instrumentation and refined fabrics. Excellent finishes and quality of materials, at the top of the category. The new injection engine, makes it less grumpy, but no less sporty. The performance is better than the GT, and brings it closer to the fastest 1.8 of the period. The road holding is good, but driving sportily it is a bit nervous. Steering is the least successful mechanical component. It is a compact two-volume, with contained dimensions and weight. The well-known 1600 twin cam, thanks to the new IAW Weber injection, shows off 108 horsepower, and good torque. The gearbox has five gears, four disc braking system, power steering on request. More travel than sports tires, performance is among the highest in its class, at the time of presentation. Consumption, at normal speeds, is contained, rising in sporty driving. This version with 108 horsepower, was produced from 1986 to 1989, in about 48,000 units. Why buy it? Excellent performance and driving fun. If properly maintained. It is very reliable and consumes even little. It is the cheapest way to take home a Sport Delta. Versions with power steering, are preferred. Why collect it? It is a Sport Delta. The prices have started to rise. They have done many, but there are few. What to pay attention to? Some parts of the body prone to rust. Spare parts can be found, but cost so much. It is the latest series of the best-selling Italian flagship. Has a design devoted to giving it more importance, the new bumpers and the many tricks, give new life, to a car that was already 8 years old. The interiors are similar to those of the previous series, with new accessories. Among all, the airbag available on request, and housed in an unwatchable steering wheel. This specific version, brings to the debut the maximum expression of the aspirated 2-liter, 16 valves, twin cam launcha. Characterized by the new VIS modular intake system, this engine is at the top of the category, in terms of equipment and performance. On the road, to the well-known qualities of sealing and handling, it combines new grit, that allows you to take away a lot of satisfaction. The comfort and space are those, excellent, widely known by Tama customers. The engine, is the well-known 2-liter 16-valve, which in this edition, features a new injection and the brand new VIS system. 155 horsepower. A very high value for a naturally aspirated 2 liter at the time. 5 speed gearbox, 4 disc brakes plus ABS is standard, very high performance for the category and the period. At constant speeds, it also consumes little. Produced for about 2 years, 22,000 units were sold. Why buy it? It is a nice car. It is the latest series with all tangible improvements. Important design, excellent image. For everyday use, with great class. Engine with a great character. Why collect it? For the technical characteristics, it represents an important historical period. The swan song of a flagship that many regret. What to pay attention to? That the maintenance was exemplary, the distribution was delicate. Some delicate internal plastics. Some spare parts are difficult to find, others have high costs. At presentation, it was the most exclusive version of the new Deidre station wagon. The design, was starting to feel the effects of the years, but this elegant wagon, had and has its own personality. Aesthetically, it can be recognized from the other Deidre wagons for the specific 15-inch wheels, and the plate with integrale wording. Internally, the same three-spoke sports steering wheel with airbag, as the Delta HPE, wood panel dashboard, 
exclusive upholstery and more complete setup. The mechanicals, see the well-known 2-liter 16-valve, combined with the same 4-wheel drive, as the previous Stedra e Integrale HF, equipped with manual locking of the rear differential, via a button on the dashboard. It is a car with incredible road holding, powerful braking and a lot of safety. Station wagon with fairly small dimensions. Important weight. The engine is the classic 2-liter 16V Lancia, in this version with slightly decreased power in favor of torque delivery. 5-speed gearbox. Permanent all-wheel drive with manual rear differential lock, 4-wheel disc brakes plus ABS as standard, sports tires, high performance, as well as consumption. Only 2,000 units, produced from March 1994 to November 1997. Why buy it? Comfortable, spacious, practical. Well-built and well-finished car. With the 4WD and the differential lock, go everywhere. Almost all models are full options. Why collect it? It is in Lancia Integrale. They have made few, what to pay attention to. The state of the fund, often, they are cars that have known salt. Some internal plastics tend to become sticky. Defective external door handles. Some specific parts hard to find. Quite high consumption. A pleasant hot hatch, little known in this setup, and too often unfairly criticized. Despite everything, the design is original and personal. It is almost the same as the more powerful HF. This version replaces the previous HP 2.016 valve. The pleasant interior design and materials appear more complete with the valuable Recaro optional. The mechanicals are enhanced by the new 1816 valve motor equipped with a phase variator, which made its debut on the Fiat Barchetta. On the road, Despite its weight, it is respected, has excellent road holding and braking at the top of the category. In October 1997, it undergoes a slight restyling. On request, it is possible to mount the same Zender aerodynamic kit of the HF. 205 50 15 oversized wheels, and Recaro interior in leather and Alcantara. The ABS is standard. Three-door hot hatch, considerable weight, due to the strength and body. 1750 engine. 16 valves with electro-hydraulic phase variator. Good power and torque values. Good overall performance. At normal speeds it is also economical. Produced for 4 years and subject to a restyling at the end of 1997, this version has had some success in sales. Why buy it? Well made and reliable car. Driving fun. Excellent performance and fairly low consumption. Excellent, powerful and reliable engine. Why collect it? Although criticized, it is the heir to the idea of a Lancia compact sports car. Preferred specimens equipped with Recaro and Zender kit, what to pay attention to. The delicate phase variator. Some internal parts that tend to get sticky. Some spare parts difficult to find. He had the difficult task of replacing Tama. The first units, due to the rush to put it on sale, made us regret the previous flagship. But, Already from the first restyling in 1996, which accompanied the presentation of the wagon version, things improved a lot. Aesthetically, it is the same as the first version, only the successful alloy wheels change. The station wagon, is unprecedented, and stands out for a design bordering on the affected. But it still has its own personality, internally, many improvements, from the seals leads, to the conformation of the seats, from the sound absorbing material, to the electrical connectors. The materials remain of excellent quality, the possibility of having Alcantara or leather upholstery in various colors. The wagon offers a large load compartment, well thought out and finished, the mechanicals undergoes most of the interventions. The 2-liter engine, is now equipped with the VIS intake system. Engine mounts improved. The suspensions in their seats have been revised to improve comfort. Special interventions to the conformation of the body, to increase comfort and silence. On the road, it demonstrates exemplary safety. Great grip, powerful and resistant braking. The second series, was born in mid-1998, characterized by single color paint, new wheels, new steering wheel and new accessories. Sedan 3 volumes and station wagon of important dimensions. 5-cylinder, 20 valves, 2-liter engine, phase variator and modular VIS intake system, excellent power and torque values. ABS series, front wheel drive, high performance, considering weight and displacement. Consumption always quite high. This revised and corrected version, debuted in mid-1996, and was produced until June 98, when it was replaced by the second series, which left the scene at the beginning of 2001.
Why buy it? It costs little, and offers a lot. Very comfortable car, with large spaces. Large trunk in the sedan, huge in the wagon. These revised and corrected series, are reliable. Sound and technique of the five cylinders. Why collect it? Design, criticized at the time, appreciated today. Refined mechanicals, accurate construction. It is a counter-current choice, that will bear fruit. They have not done many, few remain, what to pay attention to. That the maintenance was scrupulous, some interventions, require several hours of manpower, and many owners, they forgot. Some details that are difficult to find, consume enough. Small sports car, with a very personal design. It differs from the other Upsilon, for the anthracite colored 15 inch alloy wheels. The mirrors and the gray front grille, and the two red elephants, that stand out in the central pillars of the doors. The interior, is much more personalized. Seats and door panels upholstered in a particular fabric, that incorporates the graphics of the instrumentation, red or green on an anthracite background, depending on the external paint. The central instrumentation, has a silver background, and red backlit graphics. Steering wheel and gear knob, are covered in black leather with red stitching. The mechanicals, are strong in the 1.216 valve fire engine, with a fairly pushed electronics configuration, that favors performance. The gearbox has shorter ratios. The suspensions are sporty revised, more rigid and lowered, and include increased anti-roll bars. The steering is more direct, but remains too light. Increased tires, all these changes, give the Epsilon a confident and a lot of fun behavior. On guided tours, he demonstrates an arrogance, unthinkable for a car of only 1.2. On the occasion of the restyling, at the end of 2000, the Elephantino Rosso, is also retouched, new bumpers and new side moldings, new steering wheel, but, above all, new electronic engine management, which greatly improves consumption, but significantly, worsens performance, mitigating character, that made the fame of the first version. Premium compact car, short length, considerable width. Fire engine, 1,242 cc, twin cam, 16 valves, high power and torque, especially in the first series, equipped with sports configured electronics. 5-speed gearbox with short ratios, mixed braking system with standard ABS, sports tires, high performance for the displacement, consumption influenced by driving on the first series, always contained in the second, produced for almost 5 years, the Elephantino Rosso, has total just over 25,000 copies. Why buy it? Great fun on the road. Very high and safe road holding. Distinctive aesthetics and interior. Despite the small displacement, it has a great arrogance. Electronics and gear ratios designed for racing. Why collect it? Its concept of sport, is far from the classic Lancia 1, but it is, to all intents and purposes, the last admittedly sports car of the brand. Avoid the many non-original copies. What to pay attention to? Check the real condition of the car well, they are often, cars that have had a difficult existence. That the maintenance has been thorough, the engine suffers from low quality lubrificants. The original exhaust system, does not last long. Some delicate internal plastics. His gestation was long and troubled. And the final design took a hit. But, if the sedan has never been liked, the wagon has its own personality. Soft and well-connected shapes, with successful details and others, such as the front, less. The interiors, are well thought out, and finished. The dashboard, masterfully combines classic and modern. Comfortable seats, refined upholstery and fabric, Alcantara or leather. The LX version, is fully equipped, including a refined Bose Hi-Fi system. It is not a work wagon, on the contrary. Despite this, the load capacity is considerable. This version, is fitted with the 5-cylinder, 2-liter petrol engine, already seen on the Kappa, equipped with the VIS system, which lends itself well to the exclusivity of the model. The suspensions are very refined, especially the brand new BLG rear axle, which ensures comfort and unsuspected agility. In 2001, the LX is joined by the Limited Series, exclusive, equipped with leather interiors, GPS, 16-inch wheels. The most interesting, are the 2002, Intensa, and 2004, Emblema, Limited Series, which we do not consider here, as they are more recent. Premium Middle Class Station Wagon. 5-cylinder, twin cam, 20-valve equipped with VIS modular intake and phase variator. 
high power and torque. 5 speed gearbox, automatic on request, standard ABS, performance in line with the 2 liters of the period. Quite high consumption, built for 3 years, it only sold 3,226 units. Why buy it? Personal, comfortable, spacious, well built and finished, mellow and velvety engine, with a very personal tone. Usually, there are full optional, and little exploited models. It has sophisticated suspension, that offers top road handling. Why collect it? For the mix of aesthetic and mechanical contents, it is the library to focus on, for any future revaluations. Re Exclusive, Intensa and Emblema Limited series, is preferred, what to pay attention to. That it has carried out, the maintenance diligently. Some internal plastics, that tend to get sticky. Some malfunctions, in the electrical system. Some types of paint, that tend to lose their transparency, 